your Prime Minister decided in advance that these people were, oh, what did he do? All the modern uh, uh, excommunications. They were Nazis, they were white supremacists, they were anti-Semites, they were probably homophobes, they were misogynists, they were probably transphobes, etc., etc., etc. He did all the things you do in the modern political age if you want to just defenestrate somebody who's awkward to you. And then he brings in the Emergency Powers Act. Now, at such a time, what would the mainstream media do? It would question it. It would question it. The Canadian mainstream media did not. The Canadian mainstream media acted as an Amen chorus of the Canadian government. I will give you a couple of examples. But, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I could go on for hours with examples of this. You had a CBC host describing the Freedom Convoy as a, quote, feral mob. You had a Toronto Star columnist saying, quote, sorry for the language, it's a homegrown hate farm that was then jet fueled by an American right funded rat fucking operation. Jesus, they can't even write at these papers anymore. <laughs> CBC said that two indigenous women were so scared to go outside in Ottawa because of racist violence, didn't bother to mention that indigenous drummers had led the truckers in an O Canada rendition. The National Observer said that the many black and indigenous freedom convoy supporters were in fact duped by the truckers. The Globe and Mail reporter said, my 13 year old son told me to tell protesters I'm not a Jew out of fear of anti-Semitic violence without mentioning that one of the leaders of the convoy was himself Jewish. Now, why is this so rancid? Utterly, utterly rancid and corrupt. Because in this country, your media, your mainstream media, is funded by the government. A totally corrupted system. In 2018, oh, election year, coincidence, the Canadian media has given $595 million over five years. The Toronto Star estimated it was going to be get, getting $3 million from the government in the first half of the year. It went on and on. So you see, the main street, the government in Canada can tell people to, to see, the, they can tell the banks to shut down people's bank accounts. Oh, yeah. Your government can do that. And if you're happy with that, just think about what would happen if the shoe was on the other foot. The government can.